Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nathi from World Crop Love, and today we're going to be making a super yummy and easy, what is it? Pumpkin pancakes. But before we start, I have a special guest. My mama. Thank you, my love. Well, so what what are we making today? Some keto pumpkin pancakes. Okay, so have you tried these pancakes? Yes. They're amazing. Okay, so I, think everyone will I love mean them. you're in charge of this video, so mm -hmm. you let you let me and everyone else know what we're doing here. Alrighty. So I got these new little piggy uh measurings. Mm-hmm. Very beautiful. So we'll be using okay, so what what are we using here? Let's see. Let's go almond over almond flour. Almond flour. So let's let everyone know. Almond flour, you actually cannot substitute almond flour for coconut flour because they're very they have very different um like moisture. Finances? Not finances, my love. <laughs> <laughs> they're very um almond flour coconut flour is much drier so anyway but we are using some almond flour i think so what this is this pumpkin puree pumpkin puree do you want to um show the can mm. so pumpkin puree is very different than pumpkin pie pumpkin pie mix has a ton of sugar pumpkin puree is literally just pumpkin uh purees Base. yeah it's Wait, just the... basically yeah then we okay. have baking powder okay and then we aluminum have, free aluminum free yeah. mm -hmm. we have some sweetener okay some powdered sweetener and then we have some room temperature eggs room temperature eggs okay and then on the side we have some cinnamon and what is this pumpkin, and pumpkin spice. spice okay so we're gonna use this bowl i want to add our almond flour so we're adding our almond flour you have to let everyone know my love because and then our baking powder so we use our baking powder then our sweetener. Our powdered sweetener. If you don't have powdered sweetener, you can use granular or you can just blitz yours in the food processor, in the blender, or even a little coffee grinder. I'm gonna mix the drink. And boom, first. powdered sugar. Adios. Okay. I'm gonna mix my okay. uh, drink first. And are we gonna use your little um, porquito for the cinnamon and pumpkin yes. pie? Yes. All right. All right. So we're we doing the pumpkin pie spice. Mm. Do you wanna do it a little over here? Okay, so what are we doing? Half teaspoon? Mm -hmm. Okay, here, let's make sure that. Why don't you just put it in a bowl and make it? Well, usually we use a different. Right, that's, um, enough, that's enough. That's enough. All right. Okay, so these are a little too fat to go into here, you know, but usually I use my heart ones and they're fine. So, okay, there you go. Perfect. All right, so quickly, half teaspoon. Same thing with the Sony money. And the cinnamon. Okay, there you go. Now we'll give that a little mix. Boom, boom, boom. Whiskey business. Okay. And now we're gonna do the wet ingredients. Betula. As long as it's pumpkin puree. Pumpkin, pumpkin. puree. Not pumpkin pie, right? Wow, I love your new little spatulas here. Yeah. You look very, um, like Thanksgiving. -y. Okay. Room temp. Okay, chef. I see you. I mean, I'm trying to figure out where you learned how to do all this. Do you want to let everyone know? Um, Is it just from practice or what? Yeah, I mean, I'm on you. Wow. I'm practically by myself and watching kids like cooking. Mm, do you watch cooking shows? Yeah. Okay, so now we're just mixing everything by hand. You can or you can use a, what hand, is a, hand, a, a hand mixer, but actually, um, I think the texture, just mixing by hand, works really, really well. So let me see if they can see. Can they see? Okay, you can tell. Okay, so I've, obviously you just want to make sure that the eggs, you know, are, are well mixed. And then we have this, what is it, funnel? Yeah, so it's the funnel, but we don't, we can actually just it. scoop this up because I, I feel like this, the batter is pretty thick. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to use an ice cream scooper so I can get a good size. Um, Which one are you doing? I think we're going to do the large one. Okay. So you need a butter or else your pancakes will literally stick no, and I burn the butter. house down. Really nothing. It's not going to burn the house down, <clears> but <throat> you want to butter it. Yeah. We're going to use our little griddle that is 
almost falling apart. Little legs missing. I got this. It's called the, because I know you guys will probably want to know the like Proctor. Three years ago, Mom. The Proctor Silex. And, um, hold on, you want to do it like that? Yeah. I got this um, on the sales rack, so. Okay, so now we buttered our skillet. So we're making three. Nathie's going to use a smaller one. And I'm going to... These are, mine's gonna be huge. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Let's pour. And then with the bottom, with the back, yeah. just spread. Okay. Ooh. How's yours? Okay, do you want me to do that one? No. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Gotta get a good amount. All right. Not... And then the back. All right, guys, it's time to flip them. Mommy's going to flip number one. Can I flip mine? You got it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, move on. We're this. live. We're live. We're live. Reporting at the Laguna Beach, California <laughs> Beach House. Coming in with a new face. Coming in at five foot two. Okay. The new pumpkin pancake. All right. All right, guys. So now we're gonna do the taste test. Let's do the taste test. Are you excited? Yes. Okay. Let's not be super savage. We can just cut a little pedacito. How do you feel? How do you feel about these already? They look very moist. Very moist. We went a little heavy on the syrup, right? Because we used, so we did use some of the pumpkin pie. My favorite of all time is the maple. So I did add a little maple. So, you know, we went a little heavy on the syrup and butter, right? Ready? Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Okay, fully shashi girl. These are very, very good. What do you think? They're not mushy? Nope. Okay, that's one thing you're gonna run into with pumpkin pancakes, is that they're gonna be mushy and heavy. These are not. They're light, airy, and very, very fluffy. Mm-hmm. They're nice and fluffy. They absorb the butter, the syrup really well. And so don't like, turn like my sosos, like, you know, um, mushy. And then everybody you get a bite of syrup. Mm hmm This is amazing. And it only takes what? What do you think? Saturday. Boom. Next weekend. Mm hmm Okay, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe. You have to try these. They're absolutely perfect for the fall season with pumpkin spice everything. If you make these pancakes, make sure that you tag me so that I can share your recreations on my stories because we all love to see them. You know what would be good with this? What, my love? A pumpkin dalgona. Ooh, girl. Mm-hmm, you're on it. Guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. That way you're notified every time we post a brand new video. We are posting three times a week. We're posting on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So new recipes coming up. Stay tuned. And if there's a recipe that I haven't made that you guys want to see, make sure that you comment that down below. Until next time, guys, we love you. And love we will you. see you Bye. on our next video. Mwah.